I'm thinking. This is the last question. We're almost done. Okay, just give me a minute. The question isn't that difficult. I just want to make sure I get it right. How could you possibly get it wrong? Well, I just want to make sure so I don't have to change my mind later and have you think I'm indecisive. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to say I was indecisive. I, I just don't even think I am indecisive. Are you sure? About what? About not being indecisive? Are you trying to trap me? Why would I do that? Well, what do you keep writing down? It's my personal notes. I don't think you should even ask. Nobody said anything about notes. Nobody had to. It was a personal choice. You chose to try to remember everything. I chose to take notes so that I could accurately recall our conversation and my observations. It occurred to me. Let's see. <laughs> what? Are you writing down that it didn't occur to me? Let's get back to the question. How many questions are there? As I told you before, this is the last one. Do you often have trouble concentrating? <laughs> Can you answer the question, please? Okay, fine. So this has to be for the rest of my life, right? Right. I don't get to reconsider after, say, my 50th birthday? Now, where do I put the sense in that? If you're going to make a choice, choose. Stick with it. Don't be a wuss. Why is this relevant? Because it says a lot about you. What does it say? Well, I don't know yet, now do I. Okay. One taste, one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Masquerading as chocolate to trick people into eating it. <laughs> White chocolate. It's like cheese slices. <laughs> cheese slices? Right. You're a little obtuse, George. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to write that down? Yes. I just meant to say that if white chocolate is a regular chocolate, what cheese slices are to real cheese, a, a, a poor substitute. I say, if you're going to eat chocolate, don't screw around with a pale imitation. Pale imitation? I like that, George. A nice little bit of wordplay. Why don't you get write it down? Oh, no, I'll remember <laughs> that. Raisins, nuts? In the chocolate? Yes. The inclusions of raisins or nuts can drastically alter the flavor profile of the chocolate. Flavor profile? Well, raisins, nuts. Uh, you need to know this? It has to fill out your psychological overview. The specific tastes that appeal to us can be very revealing. How's that? It's psychology, George. Don't question psychology. Okay. <laughs> no nuts. Absolutely not. Nuts don't belong in chocolate. Nuts, chocolate, that's just crazy. Nuts totally screw up the, uh, the, the, the texture profile of the chocolate. And, and raisins? Ten paces, I defy you to tell me whether what's stuck in the middle of your chocolate bar is a raisin or a house fly. <laughs> <laughs> a purist. Milk, dark, chocolate, dark. Dark, definitely. Why? The taste. What does the taste remind you of? I don't know, I just like it. I like it because it tastes a little edgier. I, I love the way the taste flows off my tongue, fills my mouth, and melts to the back of my throat. I'm sorry, what was that? The taste flows off my tongue, fills my mouth, and melts to the back of my throat. I see. And um, does this happen often? The uh, the, the flowing, and the, the filling, and the melting. Every time I eat chocolate, taste fills my senses. 